Hi, I'm Brian K. Smith, the Human Potential Specialist. I'm coming to you today to just kind of share some thoughts around the recent deaths of Alton Sterling in Baton Rouge and Philando Castile in Minnesota. And also, even a comment or two about Micah Johnson in Dallas along with the five police officers that were killed. I really want to just ask a few questions, primarily to black people. Oh yes, well-intentioned white folks as well. Why are we attending electronically the modern-day lynchings of black people? Let me ask that again. Why are we attending electronically the modern-day lynchings of black people? Now, what are you talking about, Brian? Modern-day lynchings, what are we doing? I want to know why we, as black people, continue to share and post the videos of other black people being killed. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're going to say, well, Brian, if we don't share and post these videos, then people won't believe that this is what happens to us, and, and we've got to share it, and we've got to post it. And my argument is, have we forgotten our history? When the master used to whoop the slaves or lynch the slaves, and they would force the other slaves to watch, they did it as an act of terror. They did it to instill fear and obedience in all the other slaves. And I'm not saying or suggesting that we happen to be modern day slaves because we share and post these modern day acts of violence and these modern day lynchings. But I am going to suggest is by doing so, we lose a little bit of our humanity and we also fall victim to the fear. Because you can't use the videos and say it's good for raising awareness and inciting uh, a sense of outrage without recognizing that it also incites a sense of fear. When I see those videos, I'm afraid for my sons. I'm afraid for my daughters. I'm afraid for my friends, my brothers, everyone. I'm afraid that anyone I know that is black is going to fall victim to that. And sometimes watching those violent acts, those modern day lynchings over and over again, make me feel like no matter what I do, it will never be enough. I'll never be able to save the next person. Therefore, I'll never be able to save myself or any of my loved ones. So I implore you all to stop sharing them and find some other means as opposed to showing the violence over and over and over again. If you had a chance to go watch a lynching, would you take your family to do it now? Of course not. So why subject your friends and family to these lynchings electronically? I want to make sure that you understand that I am not by any means saying that we don't need to bring awareness to our issues. I'm just saying, can we use our technology in a different manner? Can we use our platforms differently? People now know that people are killing us, but that's not going to change whether they see it on TV or on Facebook or other social media outlets. Fannie Lou Hamer did so, brought awareness to lynchings by posting signs and writing articles in newspapers and taking out ads. And they simply said, a black man was killed yesterday. I don't need the graphic reminders of how they did it. I don't need to see people gasping for their last breaths on social media. I'm in the fight. I want to fight with you. But I want to also keep my humanity. I grew up in Chicago where acts of violence were regular. I had metal detectors in my school and police officers long before anyone in Columbine was ever killed. And so when it started happening across the nation, I was rather desensitized to the issues and it really didn't bother me that other schools were starting to have police officers. I grew up that way. I had lost some of my humanity. I don't want my children and my grandchildren to grow up being desensitized to these acts of violence because they've seen them so many times on social media that they become the norm. So I'm just asking us, why do we participate? in the modern day electronic lynchings and can't we find a better way to bring power to our issues to speak truth to power and to get our humanity back because I'm tired of losing mine and ultimately all three black men that were killed this week whether we're talking about Alton, Philando or even Micah lost their humanity at the hands of the police department 
I can't argue that either was deserving. Even Micah Johnson should have been brought in and had a trial as opposed to blown up. And if they have video of blowing him up, I don't want to see it on social media. Because I'm sure if it's videotaped, someone's going to do a freedom of information request. And eventually, we might see what the robot looks like. I'm just tired. And I hope that you're tired enough that you'll do something as well. Don't post the videos. How about write a narrative and, and see if someone will read it. But hey, they say we don't read, right? So we never know that that's what's going on in our communities unless we keep showing this. I don't know if that's true or not. Like I said, I'm just tired. I want you to think about what I just said. I'm Brian K. Smith, the Human Potential Specialist. Thank you.